wonder how that's gonna go down it's sad that these games are ending subnautica is about to have its ending stranded deeps about to get its ending arc has its ending the hell's going on around here okay now i'm extra confused <laughs> what the hell is going on around here yo what's going on everybody riots here playing stranded deep because the craziest shit is just updated ever for this game like the game it's just completely taken on a whole new twist there's like an end game introduction now we have options to escape this freaking i guess just stranded bit of islands it's it's beautiful now there's it's, it's just a whole new aspect to this game i didn't see coming for a very freaking long time all right so before getting into it actually playing with it i'm just gonna kind of speed read some stuff off the steam update page just so we're all on the same page and you guys don't rely on my attention span to get all your information from because you will be misled you will be you you will be wrong okay so this update adds more to our end game scenario it has always been our plan for the player to be rescued by helicopter after completing a series of objectives but recently we thought why don't we let the player build their own helicopter and so in this build you can now build your very own gyrocopter in true macgyver style you will need to collect all parts to build the gyrocopter, which you can do by completing the new missions. There's a few gyro parts unlocked for the time being. While we finish for the rest of the missions, the gyrocopter will eventually form part of the final endgame story. For some reason, I'm thinking it's called gyrocopter, but I know two people who have them. They call them gyrocopters. I just get self-conscious pronouncing things now. <laughs> this update also addresses the controversial new environmental status effects. After seeing how they were playing out and listening to player feedback, we realized we took a few missteps. The most obvious is that players weren't able to manage the effects other than limiting exposure, which means hiding under a tree or sitting next to a fire for X amount of hours. Not fun. That's, that's what it says there. I have fun sitting for X hours. The flu was just annoying, so we removed it and focused on making the sun a better and more manageable threat. The effects of the sun of the player now correlate to a UV index shown on your watch. The, uh, the UV index is an indicator of harmful solar UV radiation. Really? UV? Look at that top right corner. Oh, snap, sun. That's beautiful. Okay, so the effects of the sun of the player now correlates to UV index. Blah, blah, blah. I just said that. It ranges from low, medium, high, very high, and extreme. It is affected by the time of the year, which or with the months of June, September being the most deadly. This will be tied into game setting in the future, but just keep in mind that if you're finding the sun too intense, or keep that in mind if you're finding the sun too intense, that means you're in the hot months. You're in summer. There are also heat waves which increase temperature and the UV index. When there is a heat wave, the temperature icon is replaced with a heat wave icon in the watch display. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's arc. Arc with the heat waves. I hate arc heat waves so freaking much. <laughs> the UV index affects how quickly you burn from the sun. You're legit getting sunburn up in here. We're just a bunch of white people in the sun right now. All right, 11 plus out or 11 plus extreme UV, just one hour your sun burns. Eight to 10, very high UV, two hours, and it generally breaks down. One to two UV, effectively never. You never get sunburns. Three to five, but you do you get sunburned now if you're in the sun too often. That is realistic as hell right there. It was so nice escaping life as a pale cracker and living a game where I never got sunburned. And now, once again, would that mean we'll be able to find like suntan lotion in like chests and stuff like that? That'd be amazing. If you are exposed for the corresponding amount of time, you will get the sunburn effect. This effect drains your thirst and hunger until it is worn off. The new method to remove sunburn is to use the plant aloe. You can find aloe dotted around islands like other plants and it allows you to cure sunburn immediately. I love that because I put aloe vera on my sunburns already. It's <laughs> Aloe is also f farmable. As you progress, you'll be able to craft an aloe salve to cure and prevent sunburn from happening. You can make your own sun sunscreen. That's awesome. Aloe salves will be incorporated with the new station and arm effects in an upcoming update. As before, you can also find shade for X game hours to remove sunburn. That's, that's cool. Yeah, this is an experimental mode, by the way. We're playing an experimental. It's, they're talking about stuff that's going to be added to the full game. All right, I'm like almost done reading. I want to burn through this too, but I'm actually learning a lot right now. So, okay. Once you have sunburn, it will deplete your thirst and hunger completely within two game hours. This gives you plenty of time to find shade or aloe. Keep in mind that when, or they keep in mind that even when your hunger and thirst are fully depleted, it still takes approximately three game days to deplete your health if you have no other status effects. So, you have quite a lot of time to fix your problems. The temperature shown, the temperature shown on your watch now displays apparent temperature. Apparent I think, yep, that's what we got. God damn, 103 degrees? For the love of Christ. I'm sweating just looking at that. Which is how hot it actually feels based on the humidity. The temperature currently doesn't contribute to any status effects, but we may look at restoring heat stroke based on the apparent temperature. However, sometimes realism doesn't equal fun. That's true. Damn, that's crazy. So it's not even like based off temperature. It's like heat, how it affects a human, like after adding in humidity and all that. Humidity sucks. Humidity is what makes your balls sweat, even when it's like you're inside. 
All right, so the all over changes. Added sunburns, removed heat stroke, removed flu, added vertical swimming. Ooh. Remove shark respawning, remove fire torch and refined axe, remove jump button canceling vehicle operation, increase underwater breathing by 15 seconds, and uh, increase water still refill time. Sorry, it just got kind of boring for me for a second back there is what happened. All right, so I think, I think, I mean, once it's just started getting into technical shiz. Technical shiz does not entertain me. Okay, here we have some aloe salve. So you just need some aloe plant and a coconut. They just make this beautiful. Well, how do we how do we obtain a sunburn? We burnt? I believe we gotta be I mean UV's very high. V high. It should only take about an hour, right? Before we're like legit cooking. We're a male, right? Male or female. How do you get such a hairless forearm? Weird, man. What the hell is that? That is that is crazy right there. That's actually freaking me out. You slick willy bastard. How do you do you see slippery? Slippery son of a bitch. All right, I'll bet you anything by the time I take my raft over to my pimp out island over there Which is where I have everything that I'll ever need in my life. Oh, you touch the water. You's Wait, could you still get sunburned in the water? Shouldn't you get more sunburned in the water? I Mean, I feel like that's the thing right at least shark respawning has been taken down. Although I feel like we had fun with shark respawning No, I mean it depends what you're doing if you're hunting sharks sure, but otherwise huge pain in the ass Where are you? Dude, that's so cool. They're gonna add more missions as well. I can't wait to see what they are because right now our missions for the most part are just Megalodon, Giant Squid, and Giant Eel. But because right now you can't even get all the... Dude, would you like to get up on the right? Uh, blah, blah. Jesus, what was that? Look at that. Look at that close one. At first, before... See, I'm happy I read that whole thing. At first, before reading it, I thought that you got the little bits of your gyrocopter, which I'll show once they get over to this island. Just want to try and get a bit of a heat stroke... Or not a heat stroke, uh... Sunburn. I want to see how red we can get this gringo. <laughs> it's cool. I can say that. I'm like 90% Irish, like 5% Mexican, 5% whatever my grandpa was feeling at the bar that weekend. But, um, what was I talking about? All right, we got to be cooking right now. I mean, I, I go outside for 15 minutes and I mean, will we just naturally get red? It's only 90. How does it just drop four degrees like that? It's like a hell of a heat or temperature change right there. Maybe it's because we're... No, that wouldn't make sense. I was going to say maybe it's because we're on the ocean, but it's not like the temp... Or what, what are these islands? Like 50 feet long? It's not like it's... No, it's, it's we're all experiencing coastal breeze and everything. Even these people on the islands. Ooh, look at this big sexy bastard. I'd never lock eyes with him while riding my raft. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so excited to get this going. Even though, to be honest, taking a gyrocopter off like a freaking kill <laughs> these remote islands, that's terrifying. How do you know if like, you just take off in that direction? We've been flying for like half an hour. You're like, okay, crap. I don't see any land anywhere. <laughs> like, are we just gonna <laughs> set this thing down in the water or something? I wonder how that's gonna go down. It's sad that these games are ending. Subnautica's about to have its ending. Stranded Deep's about to get its ending. Ark has its ending. What the hell's going on around here? Okay, now I'm extra confused. <laughs> what the hell is going on around here? And there is simply no way in grandmother's ass I did not just do that. Did I just get a Seriously, it's still very high. It's very high. You, but it's just, we're just chilling. No, no, no. No, no. Actually, are we? We do appear a little more red. Jesus. This is just racist right now how they're having me figure out what color I am. <laughs> There's got to be a more refined way to know if I'm sun. I mean, I'm not. I would imagine under status effects it would say sunburnt, right? It's got a, it's 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 I mean I'm using my pale white skin as a as a color sheet. It does look a little bit more red though, right? Or am I just in a different light right now? What does that mean? I've never judged my skin color more than I am right now. This is this game has taken us a huge step back. <laughs> Alright, nevertheless, I'm making some of this lubricant right now because I was supposed to make aloe gel like a freaking hour ago. Do you count? I know for a fact you're not a freaking aloe plant, but you look like you could also be somewhat, I don't know, you have spiky green leaves like an aloe plant. I mean, these stupid young palm trees are really good. I know, see, it looks like it looks just like this. All these plants look the goddamn same though. Freaking islander bushes, they all look similar. Hang on. Where's some aloe, bro? What if I had a sunburn? Stupid ass aloe is not anywhere to be found, you dirty bastard. Okay, well, here's this I just passed right here. Storyline, look at this. We have our official gyrocopter parts. Unfortunately, we don't have the full gyrocopter yet because they're still working on the missions. I'm so excited to see what kind of missions they're going to be. I feel like they're going to evolve, but I, are there even NPC pirates in this game? I've never seen any, but I haven't done a full survival series this game in like two years when it was 
when it was just a baby compared to what it is now. Right now at the moment though, as you can see, we can get the seats and the cockpit. Damn it, it's just like so close that we're so close to having the end of this game right now. I can't believe this is how it's gonna end too. I mean, it makes sense. It would either be this or like, what do we just see? Like a freaking cruise line just driving by in the distance. How would you even get its attention? I imagine this is gonna be the general shell of it. You're the seats, obviously. I imagine you're the little copter bit on top or you're the engine. Or imagine, I don't know, but then this would be, ah, oh, damn it, it's just so hard to know. I don't even know what kind of makeshift copter we're gonna be making. So here's the cockpit, like the wiring goes all the way down where it need be. This is some legit MacGyver stuff right here. It's sort of like make a cockpit MacGyver style. MacGyver was like, he's, I never saw the movie. I just saw the funny movie ripoff of it. But, um, or is it a TV show? Basically, the dude would just take a paper clip and a string and like a pencil and make like a rocket launcher with it that could destroy like helicopters and stuff. That's MacGyver. So when they say helicopter or a uh, freaking uh, gyrocopter MacGyver style, they mean literally made out of supplies found in an office building. Well, the seat's looking pretty baller. Look at that jack, look at that handle in front. Oh, Zam, son, I'm so excited for this right here. I mean, at the time, it looks like it's just filled with penis jokes. It looks like a bit of a, a hard sausage, but I mean, ultimately, this is going to be amazing. I'm so freaking excited for these missions. We're end game, dude, just straight and deep end game. Oh my God. I just really hope since the newest missions involve a giant eel, giant squid, and megalodon, even though it's a regular sized shark and we just call it a megalodon, which is heartbreaking, but... <laughs> And I really, really, really hope that they're going to involve more giant monsters and not just random missions. I mean, sure, random missions are important, but also, so are giant monsters. I feel like it's going to just involve a bunch of looting and stuff like that, though, because why would gyrocopter pieces be underwater? Unless someone dropped their gyrocopter in there, it makes perfect sense. All right, so this right here, I just had to cover. It's kind of a half-empty video because it's mostly stuff we're just looking at and can't actually play with, but I just figured, like, reading that, that the end game of Stranded Deep is actually coming very soon, and how it's being introduced is going to be a gyrocopter, and that's how we're going to escape the island islands and everything. It's, it's pretty damn crazy, dude. It's like graduating high school, except it's not me. It's like my cousin graduating high school, except I actually care. Either way, I'm super excited. If you guys want me to keep track of these updates as well and like just kind of post as the gyrocopters completed and missions are added, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I shall see you beautiful people next time. Peace! It's time to get swifty in here.